Stephanie Petros, and I am the director of the honors program here at the College of Mount St. Vincent. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the honors program and the kind of uh, opportunities it uh, provides to students here. So just a little bit about us. Uh, the honors program um, was really developed in recognition of the fact that our most highly capable and motivated students need a rigorous environment in which to reach their potential. So we offer interdisciplinary experiences, more about that in a bit, that challenge intellectual curiosity, creativity, and critical thinking skills of academically gifted students. The program encourages contemplation of moral and ethical approaches to knowledge and is concerned with the education of the whole person. I think that's something that Mount St. Vincent in general cares a lot about is um, you know, caring for students and educating students, not just academically, uh, but in all facets. And I think honors is no exception. There is an, uh, an extracurricular component to honors as well. And it seeks to establish a community of scholars among faculty um, and highly motivated students through shared academic, cultural, and social activities. So here's a little bit of an overview of uh, the program. Honors provides students uh, with an alternative way to uh, fulfill the core curriculum. So the core curriculum it, are the classes that all students take regardless of their major. And at a liberal arts college, um, we think it's important that you have exposure to a wide variety of disciplines and that you develop certain skills in reading and writing and critical thinking and honors provides a, a different way to do that. So you'll see here the classes that are bolded are classes that are unique um, to honors. So in the first year that includes special sections of our first year experience course, which is a one credit course designed to help students transition from high school college, a special section of freshman seminar, which are classes that take a deep dive into a, a specific topic. And then what's really unique to the honors program are the uh, topics courses that students take freshman and sophomore year. Those are six credit courses that are interdisciplinary and team taught, and they are, you know, really at the center of our honors curriculum. Uh, the interdisciplinary courses um, in the freshman and sophomore year, I think are the really, uh, the most unique aspect of the honors program. Those are courses that are team taught um, by professors in different disciplines. And I'll say a little bit of mo about more about those in just a second, but I think they're a really um, excellent way for students to be able to look at a topic from a variety of perspectives, disciplinary perspectives. And then the other things that distinguish the honors program uh, is a junior seminar in ethics. And that is also the class in which students develop their uh, proposal for their independent research project, uh, which they then work on over the course of their senior year. Students often, if they have a required kind of thesis or, or capstone project in their major, they will expand on that for their honors research. And if they don't have one that's required in their major, they will develop one. Um, students tend to do them in their major field, uh, but sometimes students will do their um, honors research in their minor. Right. If they have a minor in, in something, they'll choose to do the project in that. Or sometimes they'll even combine elements of their major and their minor uh, to develop um, a unique project. So here are some sample uh, topics um, for those interdisciplinary, those six credit team taught honors courses. You can see here a range of disciplines. Um, represented, um, you know, humanities and social sciences, but also natural sciences, um, math. Uh, and these classes really allow students, as I said, to see things from an interdisciplinary perspective. Uh, they also allow students, I think, to bring their own um, interests into the class, particularly in the, the research projects that they do. So, for example, one of the really popular um, honors courses uh, is called the Tudor Reformations which focuses on 16th century England, um, Henry VIII, um, and so on. And just last spring, when students took that class, uh, many of them developed research projects that related to their own discipline. So one student was an accounting major, her research project in that class focused on the fiscal policy of Henry VIII. Uh, another student compared the sweating sickness, which is a, was a 16th century epidemic, to 
the current uh, pandemic with coronavirus uh, and was able to make comparisons between past and present. Uh, so I think all of these, whatever the topic is, and the topics vary year to year, but students are really able to um, not just study the disciplines of the professors in the class, but bring their own into the class and really make it a unique uh, experience for everybody, including the faculty. It's really fun to teach these classes. So here are some of the advantages uh, to our honors program. Obviously, the biggest advantage is to be part of this community of other motivated students and faculty who really share your curiosity and love of learning. I think honor students, regardless of what their major and or intended major are, uh, is really love learning and so you know they may be a nursing major but they love to to learn about history or literature or you know they're they're a humanities major but they're interested in looking at things from a statistical perspective so there's students who really like to learn and like learning from different perspectives so some other advantages include a lower student teacher ratio that foster discussion and intellectual growth all of our classes at the mount are pretty small but honors classes in particular an honors cohort typical honors cohort is somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 students so those honors classes are very small you get to know one another very well uh, by the end of your four years students of course complete a significant independent scholarly project which is great um, preparation for, I mean, it's it's great in and of itself, but it's great preparation for graduate school, uh, potentially, where you'll be doing independent research. I think there's increased interaction with faculty, numerous mentoring opportunities. I think students often really connect in a unique way with the faculty in their honors courses. And again, regardless of major, you know, develop relationships with those faculty. Um, sometimes students end up you know, for example, really loving a research project that they work on in an honors course and decide that they want to continue to work on that for their honors research. And so even if it's not in their major, um, but maybe it's a minor or something of that nature, they'll, they'll work with those honors faculty. Um, you do get an honors program designation on your transcript when you graduate and you've successfully completed the program. So it kind of provides like, you know, shows employers and anyone who looks at graduate schools, anyone who looks at your transcript that you've done this advanced work. Honor students are recognized at commencement. I already talked about preparation for graduate school, but I think obviously the independent research and just, you know, the level of the classes is really excellent preparation for graduate school. A really big practical uh, advantage is early registration for classes. What that means is that you know, we, we register for classes in the way that many schools do, which is in a staggered system. So starting with uh, the students with the most number of credits, seniors, juniors, sophomores, and then freshmen, uh, but honor students register before anyone. So they register even before seniors. And what that means is you'll never get closed out of a class. Um, you can really get your pick of uh, and making your schedule. And I think that's a huge advantage for anyone, of course, and especially if you have a major uh, where it's really hard to fit things in around, say, a lab or a clinical uh, or a practicum. It's really a huge advantage to be able to choose your other classes to fit around those perfectly. And then finally, honors is actually a, a slightly smaller number of credits, the honors core, than the standard core, uh, because a big part of the honors core is doing that in independent research, uh, which is also an advantage. I think honors students, as a result, um, are able to, say, pick up a minor um, in something uh, that might be hard otherwise to do uh, as a result of having a little bit more breathing room uh, in their schedules. And as I said, you know, here at the Mount we're really interested in, um, or not interested in, but invested in uh, educating the whole person. And that includes not just academics or what happens inside the classroom, but what happens outside the classroom. Uh, and so the honors uh, program does advise the honors club, we have a, which is a student run organization led by students in the honors program. And they really seek to integrate students in the honors program with the rest of the student body to promote service, knowledge, and truth in a fun and educational way through various programs and to express individual creativity. So here's just some examples. This is a very active club. They have lots of programs every semester. You know, when I emailed the president of the Honors Club to uh, get me up to speed on what they were, they've been up to, you know, he wrote a huge, very long email in a very short amount of time. So they're very active 
a fun uh, involved club. So they have a lot of service events. Um, they do things called snack attacks that they fill bags for the midnight runs organized by campus ministry. And those are um, event uh, runs, the midnight runs uh, help to feed the homeless. Uh, they are doing things right now um, involving essential workers, so writing letters of appreciation. They're in the process this semester of planning panels on racism and gender and culture awareness. Um, they have very popular trivia nights, um, including a Harry Potter, what I've been told is a very legendary Harry Potter trivia night, uh, spelling bees and uh, cahoots. And then they do a lot of collaborative events. So events that they organize with other clubs. So things like they've organized Zen rooms during stressful times of the semester or events that help students to set up LinkedIn pages. And these are just a, this is just a small sample uh, of events that they help to or organize themselves and the way for students to connect outside the classroom and do things that are, that are educational, but also so those are the basics. That's a kind of an overview of the honors program. And if you have any questions or you want to talk more, um, I'm always happy to do that. My email address is li listed here. It's just my first name, dot my last name at mountsaintvincent.edu. And I hope you'll feel free to reach out and talk.